Good afternoon and welcome back to the Bob Lucas Stadium, which has become a fortress for Weymouth on Saturdays. The Terrors haven't lost at home on Saturday since September the 2nd. Today's opponents do obviously post a significant threat to that record. Avery sits second in the league table. But the gap is starting to widen between the Millers and top of the league oval. A nine-point gap and one extra game played is where Avery stand. And if they want to start closing that gap, the visitors will have to get back to winning ways. They haven't won their last three league outings. The Terrors will be looking to win three on the bounce. The last time that happened, Slough, Taunton and, of course, Dover last season. And we are just still waiting. And now we are off underway then. Dan Roberts takes it short and drives towards over the, uh, the halfway line. But Avery are quick to win it back. And now they will look to feed Charlie Hughes in behind. But that will run all the way through to Gerard Benfield, who, hit, who gets his first touch of the game. Torre is up and looks fine to continue. The Terrors have a throw in halfway inside the Avery half. Leo Hamden with the ball in hand. Dan Roberts makes the run to show for him. Roberts gives it back to Hamden. Hamden with some quick feet before getting his cross into the box now. Can't find Joel Rollinson. Still bouncing around. Can it be Ezio Torre? No. Cleared away by Edwino Vaz, but only as far as for a Terrors corner. Is this ball sent forward then? Hughes tries to get underneath it. Anthony Cheshire will have to clear that one away, but Hernandez may get onto it on the byline. Steps inside, strikes across goal, saved by Gerald Benfield, cleared away. And cleared away again from Tom Berwish. So it will be Avery's first corner of the game. Vaz stands over it, swings one in towards the far post. The header's up and it's into the net beyond Gerard Benfield. And it was a header at the back stick. Jalen Jones rose above everybody else. Odalusi picks it up on the byline, squares across the face of goal. Hughes with a header, and that's glanced wide at the far post. And it will be a goal kick for the Terrors. And it was Hughes that was arriving, but he didn't quite get enough contact on that. Now Calvin Brooks gets the touch inside, but that may fall through to Ivy, who stayed on side here. Ivy one on one with Jared Benfield, a save by the feet of Benfield for the Terrors, and that is another superb save from the Terrors keeper. Tries to compete with uh, Jalen Jones. Now Torre takes it down, flicked on to Joel Rollinson. The offside flag is up, and then Rollinson had rolled it into the back of the net, but that one counts. Again, gets there first, but Calvin Brooks follows it up with a big clearance, taken down by Dan Roberts. Ezio Torre gives it to Brandon Goodship. Goodship forwards to Joel Rollinson. Has he stayed on side? Rollinson round the keeper, and the offside flag has now just all of a sudden gone up, and that looked extremely tight in itself and the referee is going over to consult his lines but instead he isn't and that goal won't count Joel Rollinson denied two goals from that linesman who has been flagged up on both occasions he can shape up really shoot him instead he's looking for that cross towards the far post over the top of Edwino Vaz Vaz doing well actually to rise and Sydney Ivey tried to clear it away but instead Kevin from Kenny Howe he will have a goal kick the Terrors showing positive signs here as the half-time whistle blows and it is Weymouth the trail 1-0, one one sorry, Jalen Jones heading that one in at the far post on the 24th minute to put Avery ahead. Avery able to clear their lines, Leo Hamlin on the edge of the box now, drops it off to Olu de Roger. a fair few yards from goal but he will wind up with a strike and that had a lot of power behind it and if that was on target it would have Probably challenged Jonathan North to reach up, but that one just flying a few yards wide off that top corner. And so that probably does signify now a front three of Rollinson, O'Connell and Ben Thompson, I would say. Thompson getting his first few touches of the game now as he spins out to this near side. Shifts away from one challenge. Still going Ben Thompson. Quick feet. Still going Ben Thompson on the edge of the box. Gives it to Brandon. Good chip, good chip. Will he wind his luck from range? Strikes! Brilliant save from Jonathan North. North, cat-like reflexes to leap up and deny Brandon Goodship what would have been a fantastic goal, but perhaps just as good of an assist that would have been from Ben Thompson with his first touches of the game, weaving away from five or so Avely defenders to set up that chance for Brandon Goodship. And the Terrors do have a corner as a reward. This cross towards the far post. Calvin Brooks, free header, bouncing around. Can it be cleared away? Unconvincing. Anthony Cheshire stabs at it, but that will take a deflection and over the bar for yet another corner for the Terrors. Avely living dangerously here in the last few minutes. And so Weymouth have yet another corner. Brandon Goodchip 
stands over it. O'Connell has shown short, but he's sent back, and this ball is swung in right-footed towards the far post. Anthony Cheshire gets the flick on, although it will run all the way through to Leo Hamlin, who sends it in, and the Terrors are furious that there's been no handball. Instead, it's been given as a corner. No doubt it came off of Eze, although Leo Hamlin went straight for the appeal, and Tom Bearwish has now been shown a yellow card, presumably for something he's said. Only just coming back from an accumulation of yellows. He now gets into the book after his first game back. And it will be a corner, not a penalty. Leo Hamlin throwing it forwards then. Ben Thompson nods it down. Rollinson plays this one forward. It's falling kindly for O'Connell on the halfway line. Still twisting and turning away. Keelan O'Connell. Can he find the next pass? He picks out Rollinson. Rollinson to ben, uh, ben Thompson on the byline now and the flag is up and that is the third time that the Terrors have rolled the ball into the back of the net but the flag has been up all three times down the line then O'Connell tries to get underneath it will fall to Hernandez takes it down really really well still twisting and turning onto Lucy away intercepted by Ben Thompson now can he drive towards the AV defence over the halfway line good work from Ben Thompson now he sets up uh, Leo Hamlin O'Connell is ghosting in at the far post he's unmarked as it stands but Brandon Goodchip has it on the other side Goodchip right footed towards O'Connell at that far post and Tom Berwish there he miscued his shot but that will take a deflection off of Edwino Vaz and it will be a corner but if Tom Berwish had connected with that I think it would have been a brilliant chance there for the Terrors and maybe Tom Berwish could have put the Terrors on level terms Avery really just keeping the Terrors away in terms of those aerial duels O'Connell now attacking takes a touch beyond the Avely man, as he now still has it on that far side, sets up Tom Bear, which lines up a strike. It's a venomous effort, but that one just bouncing wide at the near post. A sighter there from Tom Bearwish, but a good sign nonetheless that the Terrors are able to find those shooting positions. Just need to start te testing the keeper, Jonathan North. Howe will try and get the better of Edwino Vaz here. Howe really working hard to try and get beyond Edwino Vaz, but Vaz doing really, really well to stay strong here before firing it straight back down the line in search of Hernandez Hernandez brings it down Calvin Brook steps through and picks it up now finds the feet of Ben Thompson to Howe Howe over the top looking for Calvin Brook who's made a forward run here on the edge of the box now plays it inside to Brandon Goodship still bouncing around can Goodship find a shot Goodship still going sets up Calvin Brooks. Brook strikes blocked away by Davis but Calvin Brooks who doesn't normally find himself in an advanced position but he scored one last game and I have to say if Davis didn't come in there with a the last stitch block Brooks could have scored his second in two games here. Thompson wins his header into the path of O'Connell, touches it onto Rollinson. Round the corner now for Joel Rollinson. Ben Thompson has overlapped. He stays on side on the edge of the box now, onto his left, inside to Brandon Goodship into the box now on the edge. Tom Bearwish with a strike. It's a poor strike at that, but it may just fall for Ben Thompson here. Blocked away, but it's been given as a handball on Ben Thompson. Garrett Kelly inside. Still going, brought to ground by Dirigé, no foul given, a group challenge from Dirigé, now Goodchip plays the ball forward to Joel Rollinson, Rollinson has space now going up against Davis inside to Ben Thompson, Thompson gets away from three Avery players before dropping off to Dirigé, Hamlin, can he deliver, left footed, looking for Brandon Goodchip, headed away though by Odalusi, Howe to O'Connell, O'Connell cuts inside onto his left now, he has a go, it's a Pretty good effort from Keelan O'Connell, but straight down the middle at Jonathan North. North then, out of his hands, kicks forwards. Hughes gets the touch on. How is there on the follow-up? Odalusi with a pretty poor clearance, brought down by Ben Thompson. That may fall for Keelan O'Connell, who's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. O'Connell's rounded him, and it's blocked off the line by Jalen Jones. The referee had his flag up, but because it came off an Avery defender, it would have counted, I would assume. The referee has waved away that claim from the linesman and it was O'Connell that had rounded the keeper. All he had to do was poke home and it was blocked off the line by Jalen Jones. And if that, if it wasn't offside, which I don't think it was, O'Connell with a glaring miss then not to put the Terrors on level terms here. This corner from Goodchip in at the near post. It's flicked on and it's into the corner beyond Jonathan North. And there's bodies on the floor in the penalty area. But it, it's the terrors that have levelled up here. And it's all kicking off in the penalty area now. Whatever happens here, that goal will surely stand. I'm not even sure who got the final touch on it. But the terrors with some more corner glory here at the Bob Lucas Stadium. Weymouth 1, Avery 1.
and just when we thought Keelan O'Connell would be the one to put the Terrors on level terms, denied by a brilliant block from Jalen Jones, that led to the corner, the corner swung in, and I think it was headed on at the near post, can it be brought down, who will it be brought down by, Odalusi gets there ahead of Joel Rollinson, Cochrane over the top, taken down by Chai, Teddy Howe battling away, and it was still spilling around here, and it was Gerard Benfield that ended up falling on the ball, and for a minute there, it looked as though it may actually fall to a uh, man in royal blue in front of Gerard Benfield, but he does well just to fall on the ball. Bearwish tried to flick one forward. De Roger will get a more definitive header. Odalusi tries to play forward. And the full-time whistle blows, and it will be a one-all draw here. Weymouth taking points off of Avely in what can only be described as a positive performance from Avery and maybe one where the Terrors can actually look back on some of those chances and maybe feel hard done by they didn't actually go on and win the game themselves.